Okay, I'm not sure you guys can see my face. Okay, I'm not sure you can. I don't think you can. How the fuck? You know what? It's okay. But today we are going to take a look at this thing. I said I was going to do this, but uh, I I did, cause I'm busy, and I'm just lazy. I'm not the best human being, as you can see, but uh, yeah. Today we're gonna take a look at uh, Spectre, formerly known as Sergeant Ego. Right, cause I had to research the name. Um, so yeah, I I. I told one of my group chats I was going to react to this. So yeah, uh, we're going to look at just some things here. Let's see, tactical reload. Let me just do one of these. Oh shit, it is laggy. It is fucking laggy as hell. Okay, we are slightly all strong, and I'm already regretting my life. Uh... This that, that, that's not a tactical reload, but that's not a tactical reload. But that's not a tactical reload. That's not a tactical I'm suffering again. Okay. Oh, uh, why am I shitting on him? Uh I I mean I mean I mean look at this. 1k subs. Okay, I I, I kinda I, I kinda do say do think that people who uh provide misinformation and wrong facts. Wrong facts. Okay, they uh don't deserve fame. I don't know. I'm I'm just a piece of shit. But yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. Oh my Jesus! That is the saddest charging I have ever seen. You, you know when you do a tactical reel, right? You're going to have to save the mag. Uh, but uh, he doesn't save the mag. Instead, he just flicks it off to the side. As you can see. No, 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 okay, I'm saying the, I'm not saying that it isn't smooth, but, you know, this is also not how I would do a Mac flick. You know, a Mac flick, you're supposed to use, you're supposed to only use your wrist to flick the mag out, but not your whole arm, to the point where it looks like you're just swinging your weapon around. Yeah, I'm going to call it a weapon because I'm, I'm too used to dry firing. And uh, yeah, that um, uh, unless if it's open bolt, a charging handle doesn't have to like straight up just yank, just yank it, then just stop it there. All right. I I know he wants to imitate a charge, like like charging the weapon, but uh, God, the imitation is so bad. Mm, I'm suffering. Okay. Tactical, wait, no, it's a window. When recoil is too high. My god, the inspector is so bad. What is he doing? So, so he just assumes that um, when you have a, uh, when you deal with recoil, you just go all around the place. But in actual fact, um, most of the time, it tips off a little bit to the right because of the way that you rip it. Now, because he's going with a one-handed grip, naturally, his his uh, weapon is going to... Weapon. When it fires, all right, and then you experience recoil, it's going to tip, it's going to go up. It's mostly vertical, and then it's to the right. Um, somewhat the truth here, but... In reality, if your arm isn't like swinging around, you won't be you won't be just fucking turning into a Beyblade and just spinning, right? And and the inspect is really bad as well. I mean, come on. 
good. If you really want to sell it, uh, I appreciate the trigger discipline. But if you want to sell the fact that you know you're firing, you gotta put your fingy on the triggy, and then you squeeze. Understand? Are we good? Okay, let's just continue analyzing this clip as to what is wrong. And uh, in terms of physics, this doesn't make sense as well. <laughs> I can tell this is a small child, but in terms of physics, this completely doesn't make sense. Because if he's firing it at the ground, I, wait, I don't understand why his hand suddenly, why his arm just drops down and points points his weapon, opening close inverted commas, downwards, you see? You see, the, the way this works, the, the moment, the quote-unquote moment, which use this term, which is the product of a force and the, and the perpendicular distance from the direction of the force, which in turn, causes the, uh, the this thing here to turn so the moment doesn't check out i am just confused this man has no concept of physics and and i highly doubt by then his weapon will still be running I, i'm just saying okay let's look at level up smg instead it's just way too fast and uh does he just assume that SMG is a tiny, uh, tiny little assault rifles or, or, uh, rifles? Just, just, yeah, just tiny assault rifles. Is this what they use? Because contrary to what people think, all right, an SMG doesn't mean uh, a small machine gun. It's a submachine gun. Now the word sub is derived from the fact that sub-machine guns, and I repeat, sub-machine guns, that means this is part machine gun, part pistol caliber weapon. Actually, yeah, most sub-machine guns are actually pistol caliber weapons. Alright, so, um, yeah, it's... It's called sub because it's somewhat there being a machine gun. Now, typically, you associate a machine gun with, let's say, a fully automatic rifle or an MG42. But this is not a this is not a for a, a a small machine gun. SMG does not stand for small machine gun, contrary to what you guys think and contrary to what Call of Duty teaches you. And yes, Call of Duty Cold War, I'm talking about you and putting the fucking AK-74, AKS-74 you in the goddamn SMG category. You... Okay. So yeah, if you really want to go with the SMG, okay, you want to make a nerf SMG, you gotta do, in this case, uh, we have the option of short darts. Now, I know short darts isn't uh, very accessible, uh, but yeah, I mean, if you want to call it an SMG video, no. Yeah, um, so uh, this is one really common misconception that I do not understand, which is that, um, why why do people assume that sub machine guns which are not uh, they assume that sub machine guns are actually just carbine configuration of assault rifles which is very weird and just what the fuck are you guys thinking like what mental gymnastics do you have to do like how much cocaine infused bow buns do you have to consume in order to think that And I'm just saying, if that's uh, if if uh, if that's how small of the barrel you want, you're not gonna get any velocity out of it. But it is true that most people believe that SMGs are are uh, very important for close combat. It is true. Normally, you carry a PCC, or in this case, the submachine gun. Okay, all right, because due to the fact that you know it's not a uh, 
it's not a rifle round. It's, it's not an intermediate cartridge. You can have a smaller barrel, all right? And then because that, you, you're, you, you can maneuver easily, all right? You can have smaller barrel, small package, everything. That's all Gucci, all right? That's why we have the MPX. That's why we have pistol caliber carbines, like the MPX, like technically the MP5 is a pistol caliber carbine, if I'm, if I'm correct. I might be wrong. We have the UMP, we have the Scorpion Evos, right? That's an SMG, right? And the term was actually coined when the uh, when the Thompson, when the Thompson was created. So yeah, I believe it was later down the line when the creator of the Thompson wanted to sell the uh his 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 product, which is the Thompson, to American consumers of the civilian market. So yeah. A bit of a lesson for you, um, and yeah, which is which is why I I hope to uh, you know recorrect these kinds of thoughts that just because it's a small and compact rifle looking thing, it doesn't mean that it's an soft machine gun. In, in reality, it's just a carbine. For you know, uh, at the same time, it doesn't mean that you take once you take the stock of a weapon, it means that it's a Submachine gun, right? If you're going by that logic, a pistol, like a Glock, is a submachine gun because it doesn't have because it doesn't have a stock. Or that that's like saying a M a uh a M9 an M93 Rafrica on the Beretta with three round burst configuration is a submachine gun. No, it's a machine pistol. We call it a machine pistol because it. You know, it, it has a higher cyclic rate, you know, all that. But it's not a machine gun. In reality, it's just a 9mm pistol with a fun switch. So, uh, just because it doesn't have a stock, doesn't mean it's an, S it's an SMG. Just because it's a small, compact weapon, doesn't mean it's an SMG. It could be a PDW, it could be a Corby. But it's not a PC, but it's not an SMG. Once again, submachine gun stands for a machine gun in a pistol caliber. Machine gun. I coin the term is the term is very loose, alright? Alright, let's look at um uh MP5 reload in the rain. Uh, Jesus. Okay, I feel this inspect is just way too fast. Alright. That is the most sad and just anti-climactic HK slap reload on a blaster. And uh, I, I just love these comments because I can clearly tell these people are just children. I can clearly tell you are all children. I can clearly tell that you are all children. Like I look at your at your usernames, and I can tell you are all children. You are all like ten years old. Why do I know that? The grammar. Do you can reload M nineteen o three spring? <laughs> spring spring. Food, food, food. <laughs> Springfield. That's an E. It's spring and field. You know, it's not even a grammar issue. It's just, a, it's just a spelling error. Would be cool if he had one. Or you mean in like animation? Uh, it's kind of really broken English. Once again, can also congrats and almost 1k. I can tell because of their username, alright? Don't get the screws ready, you can break the blaster. Like, that's not how. No, 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 okay, okay fine. But that is a really sad MP5, MP5 reload, alright? Just. just... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I'm not saying it isn't smooth. I'm not saying. I'm not saying it isn't like smooth. Uh, it's it's kind of smooth. It's kind of smooth. He's kind of getting it, but like the inspect is so fast that like it takes. It just makes it look really sloppy. It looks really sloppy and very lazy. <laughs> like it just decided, oh fuck it, I'll just go out in the rain, take like put like zero effort in this video and just send it. <laughs> Trust me, fast inspects look really sloppy, but the way that you can actually make them look better is just, you know, you take your time, all right, and then you hold it up. Okay. The reason why we, you tend not to, you, you should try not to have uh, inspects that are just lightning fast and all over the place is because without it being slowed down, you lose that sense of weight, right? There's, there's no sense of weight of the weapon that is being conveyed in the video, all right? So that's the reason why Modern Warfare 2019 inspects and just Call of Duty inspects in general, they tend to take their time to inspect the weapon and they don't just flop it around because the problem with that is that it makes it look weightless all right which really just kills the realism like i know call of duty realism ha 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 but it kills the 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 immersion of it all right which is why call of duty cold war inspects are just shit most of the time they're shit actually quite a lot of times they're shit Alright, I'll give credit to stuff like the XM4, the XM4 inspect, which is just amazing. The Pellington's inspect, it's amazing. The the Mastercraft skins inspects, they're amazing. But stuff like let's say the the MP5 inspect, yeah, the Cold War MP5 inspect, I'm not sure if they changed it or not. It looks very weightless because it just floats up to the front, pulls on a mag, doesn't look like it's taking his, you know, feeling the wind, just yanking it out. It just just by some manner of God, just slips and slides it out like a condom and just goes back in. No. Take your time with your inspects. Don't move it around too much. All right? Just take your time. Once you flip to one angle, hold it there. Then you flip it. And then you return. That's how you do an inspect. If that if it's just a look see inspect like that but if it's a chamber check you chamber check magazine check inspect pull your mag out check you can turn it on multiple angles and then you insert and then you continue or if it's the chamber chamber check uh inspect pull your charging handle or whatever and then check pull it back hold it for a moment let it go and then my chamber is uh, my chamber is filled with a cartridge, and I shall let the boat seat properly, and then return to your idle position. All right, that's all I'm saying. And uh, on the topic of idle positions, all right, idle positions, we really all should learn to take our time with them. So what I mean by idle positions is. You're holding your blaster weapon out in front of you. You just hold it there. You hold it there for a moment. That's your idle position. And the idle position, idle means is to do nothing, all right? So hold it in your idle position. You hold it there. Let's say give it like one or two seconds. One, two, or three. I like to go three or four, all right? That gives people time to, just, you know, it makes it look like, you know, less sloppy. Okay, and, and, and I mean, come on, you, you want to do a quote-unquote MP5 reload in the rain. There's no real way to do a quote-unquote MP5 reload in the rain with an unmodded recon. Because you have to imitate. You're pulling back the charging handle of the MP5, bring it up, and then you bring it up to its locking position. Now, that's extremely hard to do on a blaster. Because you have to pull back the whole, the whole, you know, the, what's it called? It's just a slide or whatever. You have to pull the whole thing back. That's the whole thing back that you have to do to prime the blast, am I right? 
So you've got to pull the whole thing back. Priming handle. Ah, there we go. You've got to pull the whole priming handle back in order for you to move it out of the way, right? And that takes a lot of strength because you've got springs moving against you. Unless you have like the fingers of a god, right? And I pity your poor wife if you have the fingers of a god. You're not going to be able to, you know, imitate a MP5 charging handle, right? All right, that, 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 that aside, right? So it's extremely off-putting to see uh, <laughs> you're pulling the actual slide back. <laughs> so yeah, um, I like when he takes some time to, you know, fumble and get the mag out. That's cool. Rocking in. Yeah, sometimes you rock in the max because they had that paddle style release. But what I really just thrown off by is how just sad the slap is because you see he's just slapping and his and his fingers are all like not flush and everything. It makes it look like it's <laughs> he's just done with it and it's the most anticlimactic slap I've ever seen because nothing actually gets slapped. It's just the blaster that gets hit. Alright. If I were him, I would have slapped the the uh the priming handle back forward all right so i would have slapped the back of it and the force would send it forward that's how i would imitate it all right but yeah that's just so sad because nothing actually gets slapped you know when you do it in an mp5 uh, a hk slap reload you, you slap the charging handle and send the charging handle back forward uh and that's the satisfying part <laughs> so yeah <laughs> shit <laughs> all right uh Shall go with a last video, I guess. Level up, sniper, sniper, sniper. Ah. Okay, so I like that he has a uh, he he made his own scope. Granted, this is more like a DMR, but this is a really short barrel for a DMR. Uh. This is a really short barrel for anything like a DMR or quote unquote sniper or sniper. I'm gonna say quote unquote for anything here because these are obviously not real weapons. So yeah. Uh yeah, we don't normally have that small max on snipers. I you you do see like quote unquote snipers with big ass mags, like like for example a 20 rounder, alright? 20 round max if they're double stacked, alright. Aren't actually like too big. They are actually quite compact. So yeah. Uh, I like that he has a fake charging handle as well. <laughs> really set the illusion. This is just more of a carbine configuration of a of a of a of a, a semi-auto DMR like a uh, you know your your M your M10 M110 Brassard or your Brassards. I believe it's the M M110. I believe that's the designation for, you know, the AR-15 pattern rifle. Well, that's pretty, that's actually pretty decent. That's actually the smoothest you know, from him that I've seen today. Could use some work on the way, but, you know, that's actually pretty damn smooth. Because <laughs> it's, they're all very flowy, and I think that's the problem. And I and I'm not sure whether or not he assumes that every weapon has you have to rock in the mag, but it's it's a very you know actually the recon isn't even that that bad for in this case for the representation because in actuality we have straight pull bolt action rifles. So um, the whole purpose of the bolt action rifle is that you need you need that lockout on such a large cartridge, right? So, yeah. Um, before we we decided, let's put this shit in a gas operated rifle where we have the gas pulls the action back. We decided, all right, you know what? For the manual lockup, let's just have a bolt action. You know, when you lift up the bolt, the bolt handle and you pull it back, and then you push it forward and then you set it down. That's actually re-engaging the lockup on the cartridge. You know, which prevents the whole thing. From your whole bolt and from just fucking flying back at your face. So you need that lockup. And that's what we had with straight uh with traditional bolt action rifles and your straight pool 
uh, bolt action rifles, like for example the Swiss K31, which is the most famous one. And there are others that I I know there's more, but I also forget the names. <laughs> so bear with me. But yeah, you can do your own research. You know, I'm not gonna make this video like fucking 30 minutes long or some shit, even though I probably will. But yeah. Improve scope. <laughs> Ah, so now we move to semi-auto once again. Suffering, 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 suffering. Alright, so we've gone to the uh, CSGO <coughs> reload animation quality reloads now. I don't even feel bad about saying it because, yeah. Uh, why would you do that? So, look man, if I, I, I understand you want to do a semi-auto, semi-auto uh, DMR, in this case it's really just DMR, right, let's just admit it, DMR, uh, but to my knowledge, there are no DMRs where you are supposed to write the charging handle like you do on a, you know, uh, an LMG. Yeah, uh, you know, charging handles, they have a spring there. That spring behind the, the charging handle, it's supposed to send it forward, and then, you know, your chamber is closed and everything. You have that spring for a reason, man. <laughs> I'm not sure what to tell you. You have the spring for a reason. <laughs> so you gotta pull it back and let it go. The problem with riding the charging handle, which is what we call that, which is when you Hold on to the charging handle even as it's going forward and you push it forward yourself. The problem with that is that you know when, when you have that manual the lockout and then you you know you're rotating boat. The problem with that, with riding the charging handle, is that your boat, your your, your round isn't seated properly in the chamber because you know your boat is like fucked up and like it's caught on something. So that's what leads to misfires. And jams, if I'm not wrong. And look, man, that's just sad as well, right? It's just sad to watch as well. It really looks like a CSGO animation, all right? I really don't like comparing uh, people's reloads to CSGO animations, but I kind of just have to. <laughs> that's a carbine, the barrel, I'm pretty sure it was longer, man. Laps to stop as well. Like just for the for the inspect, he just like spans the stop. <laughs> Please stop riding the charging handle, man. All right, Spectre. Yeah. What in the fuck is that? That does not look like it has 25 speed and 25 act plus plus 25. It does not look like it has plus 25 speed and plus 50 accuracy. You know the longer longer and bigger the shit is, unless if it's made of a lighter material, it's not going to be lighter. Fuck. <laughs> shit. Christ, why did I... Oh my god. And now it's really just fitting that DMR, the, the, the whole DMR vibe. Uh, the whole thing I'm just getting out of this is just DMR. Alright, let's be honest, she's not imitating a Barrett. He's just imitating a DMR that has a uh, rotating mode, side charging handle. He's probably, he's probably thinking of the Dragon Off. Yeah, um, let's look at one last one, I guess. One last one. Yeah, it's like. Five seconds long, please let this. Five. Okay, uh, a Kimbo MP7. I am just. Dying on the inside.
and uh, I can I can still tell that these people are children. Dang, that was cool. Law, what if that can short? Queen, third, nice long. Jesus. I I don't think this guy knows how, uh, how an MP7 is operated. You, I kind of get what he's doing. But the way he imitates the the <laughs> the way he imitates is slapping a mag back in by just taking the handle of the other MP7 and sla <laughs> slapping the handle the the mag in mag in like as if there's an actual mag in <laughs> to simulate and pulling a fresh mag in it's just golden. There's no sense of weight as well, man. And then that fucking like that like that jerk to show that oh yeah I I send that chart I send that book back I send. <laughs> He's not wrong though because the the MP7 has a uh, book releases yeah book releases on the side like the side of the uh, each side on each side so it's fully ambidextrous that's why you can use them a kid in this case I guess so uh, what else do I have to say? Yeah, it is wrong. It, it is kind of correct. So you do have to push down. You, I believe you do have to actually push down, like push it downwards, not like tap the bolt release. All right. So you got to actually push it down and not tap the bolt release. So he kind of knows what he's doing, but at the same time, he's kind of, he kind of doesn't. And and uh, this is this is just sad, man. It's just sad. I just. I can tell that these videos are taken in like one takes. Oh my fucking. Jeez. Yeah, uh, so I guess I'm correct. This guy doesn't actually know how, how an MP5 works. Yeah. So, uh, that is Spectre. Oh shit! It's a it's called a charging handle, Sergeant Eagle. It's called a charging handle. Uh, damn, <laughs> damn! It's a <laughs> it actually infuriated me. So, uh, good job. The video worked. Yeah, it's called a charging handle. So don't worry. It's called a charging handle. Now you know it's called a charging handle, All right? Uh, it's not a fucking lever, <laughs> but yeah, it's called charging handle. Uh, yeah, with that, it concludes the roasting and reloads of uh, Spectre, previously known as Sergeant Eagle. This guy, uh, I might link his channel in the description. Uh, don't go and send hate. Genuinely, I had a blast filming this, not because I'm just making fun of people again, and that I I love making fun of people, but. I've also had a lot of fun looking at his channel and uh, laughing, genuinely, genuine laughter and happiness. So, yeah. Uh, what's this? Oh, oh, okay. So he's oh, so he's archived his his own nerf reloads. All right. So yeah. A anyways, that's it for today's posting and reloads. You know the, sh the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. If you want more roasting and reloads videos. Put it down in the comments below. God fucking damn it, stop asking for parkour POVs.